Kelly Clarkson is suing her family. Well, her husband's side of the family after her divorce has caused a really ugly fallout. And we're getting into all of it right here. Now, Kelly Clarkson is no stranger to overcoming challenges. That's why she's one of our favorites. The 40-year-old singer rose to fame as the first winner of American Idol back in 2002. Kelly Clarkson. And since then, she has faced many ups and downs in her personal and professional life. She has endured body shaming, bullying, sexual harassment, and health issues. But she has always managed to bounce back with her signature resilience and positivity. Hey, we love you, Kelly. However, one of the biggest challenges that Kelly has faced in recent years is her divorce from her ex-husband, Brandon Blackstock, a talent manager and the son of Narvel Blackstock, a prominent music producer and manager. The couple, who married in 2013 and shared two children, River Rose and Remington, announced their split in June of 2020, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce was finalized in March 2022, but Clarkson is still dealing with the aftermath of a bitter legal battle with her former father-in-law's company, Starstruck Management Group. The lawsuit, which was filed by Starstruck Management Group in September of 2020, claims that Kelly owes them a whopping 1.4 million bucks in unpaid commissions for her work on The Voice and The Kelly Clarkson Show, as well as an estimated 5.4 million in future commissions. The company alleges that they had a verbal commitment with Kelly to pay them 15% of her gross earnings for their services as her manager over 13 years. Over the course of approximately 13 years, Starstruck developed Clarkson into a mega superstar, the lawsuit states. By way of example only, Starstruck was instrumental in helping Clarkson achieve success in terms of numerous hit albums, multiple Grammy wins and nominations, her role on a popular television show like The Voice, and her own talk show. Despite Starstruck's hard work and dedication, Clarkson has decided that she is going to stop paying Starstruck what is contractually owed. The lawsuit also says that Starstruck seeks to not only recover its commissions on millions of dollars that Clarkson has already earned, but also the millions of dollars that Clarkson will continue to earn, which are owed to Starstruck for its prior hard work and dedication to Clarkson's career. Those are their words. But boy, Kelly did not take these accusations lightly. She responded with her own lawsuit in October of 2020, accusing Starstruck Management Group of violating the California Labor Code by operating as unlicensed talent agents. But <laughs> she claimed that the company was procuring, offering, promising, or attempting to procure employment or engagements for her without having the proper license from the California Labor Commissioner. She also argued that any agreements between her and the company including the alleged verbal contract, should be declared void and unenforceable because they were made in violation of the law. She even asked the court to order Starstruck Management Group to return all the money they had received from her over the years. Wait, so our girl Kelly is good with Narvel and Starstruck Management Group helping her career despite not being properly licensed as long as she was married to Narvel's son, Brandon. But... As soon as the divorce goes through, being not properly licensed becomes an issue and suddenly they should give back all the commissions she's ever paid them? Come on, sounds a little bit fishy, Kelly. Now the case has been going on for more than two years now, but both sides have recently presented new evidence and testimony in court for the California Labor Commission, which, by the way, has yet to rule on the dispute. According to Radar Online, Clarkson's lawyer submitted documents and witnesses to support her claim that Starstruck Management Group was acting illegally as her agents without a license. They also presented evidence that showed that Narvel Blackstock had a conflict of interest because he was managing both Clarkson and his son Brandon at the same time. On the other hand, Narvel and Brandon's lawyers also submitted documents and witnesses to support their claim that Kelly Clarkson owes them money for their work as her managers. 
They presented evidence that showed Kelly had agreed to pay them 15% commissions on her gross earnings and that she had acknowledged their role in her success. Unfortunately, the case is not expected to be resolved anytime soon. According to The Sun, a new judge is taking over the lawsuit and a status conference will have to take place before the proceedings can even continue. That means our girl Kelly will have to wait another year before she can find out if she has to pay millions of dollars to her ex-father-in-law's company or if she can get her own money back. Kelly has not commented publicly on the lawsuit, but she has been very open about how her divorce has affected her emotionally and mentally. She has said that it was the worst thing ever and that it ripped her apart. The good news is she does have primary custody of the couple's two children, but she does have to pay Brandon a shocking $115,000 a month in spousal support until 2024. We just hope it works out best for everyone involved. If you enjoyed this video, please consider checking out this one too. We think you'll like it. And we'd love it if you would consider throwing us a like and maybe even a subscribe. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.